Hello, I'm Dave from DynaPC and this is the GT72G Toby805. This isn't going to be a fully comprehensive review, this is just going to give you a rundown of the specs and the one particular awesome feature of this laptop. And here we've got an Intel i7-6820HK. This has been clocked at 2.7 gigahertz and its boost clock is 3.6 gigahertz. This bad boy has a full 1080p, full HD, IPS, anti-glare display, which looks, I have to say, marvelous. It's also running True Color Tech as well. In here, we've got a 980M with eight gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM. For the keyboard, the glorious Steel Series full RGB anti ghosting keyboard has returned. Something else that has returned is the Dynatech audio speakers and subwoofer, which I have to say just sounds fantastic. Forget 16 gigabytes of RAM in this bad boy, we've got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 running at 2133 megahertz. We've got a 256 gigabyte PCIe Gen 3 by 4 SSD and a 1 terabyte backup drive. Integrated Bluetooth 4.1, 6 USB 3.0 ports, HDMI 1.4, MDP and Thunderbolt as well. A 230 watt power supply brick, a 9 cell battery which is going to obviously improve over the 6 cell battery we saw in the model that I reviewed previously. And its weight which is 8.4 pounds and finally the big downside of this bad boy its price. Unfortunately, if you're not making the swag dollar, you're not going to be able to afford this bad boy at £2,699. But that price tag is justified in the specs, but most importantly, it's justified in some of the equipment that you get in here, including the Toby sensor bar. So this is the main point about the laptop that I wanted to talk about most of all, the fact that we get the Toby sensor bar. And as I've already used up a minute of my time, it's time to use the other minute in talking about it. The Toby bar, as you can see right here, is a little sensor bar that tracks your eyes while gaming and doing other tasks on the desktop. The full list of features can be viewed here in this little video, which explains it a lot better than I can. But essentially, it means that you can use it in games as a camera sensor. You can look on the screen where you want the camera to go, and the camera will follow it. It also has some minor desktop functions as well. As I said, for the full list of stuff that you want to see about it, click right here. So as you can see when the sensor is turned on, you get these little red lights. These red lights are now completely tracking my eyes. So starting the Toby software off, you need to calibrate it. And to calibrate it, we go into this software here. So if I look to the left right now, you can see me going left. That takes me to the exit. If I keep looking left, you can see that we're going over here to natural targeting. Let's shoot some rocks. If I look at that one there, bang. Let's look at that one up there. Boom. Oh, no. Boom. Look at that one up there. Boom. Look at that one there, boom, look at that one there, boom, look at that one there, boom. Great, now we can look around some more, we can have a look at the alien, we make some direct eye contact, and then it's kind of weird, so I don't want to look at you anymore, alien. All right, and now we should be perfectly calibrated. So one of the games that is supported with the Toby Tracker is Tom Clancy's The Division, which we'll be going into now. So as you can see here, we are in The Division, running very smoothly with this 980M. And if I look, let's say, to the left, I will look to the left. And if I look to the right, we will scroll to the right. If I look up, we look up. And if I look down, we look down. This is actually quite a cool feature. And once you get start getting used to it, it actually improves your gameplay quite a lot. More than I was expecting. I, I was feeling that it was some kind of gimmick. But after playing with it for a few hours, I have to say I am enjoying it thoroughly. There are a number of other games this can work with as well. Unfortunately, we don't have any of the Assassin's Creed. And there are a few other apps that use it pretty damn well as well. However, if you want a full list of features, then feel free to click in the link in the description and you can be taken to Toby's YouTube channel and you'll be able to see everything that goes on just there. The unique experience of this laptop is that it's always built in there, ready for you to go whenever you want. It is worth noting, however, that you can buy the bar separate as well, if you wish. So that is the GT72 Toby edition. The Toby features in it are pretty damn cool and another feature has just been shown off right now in the fact that if you look away from the sensor bar, it dulls the screen to save your battery life. This wasn't meant to be an in-depth review, something quick and easy to digest for you guys at home. If you want to see our review of the Stealth Pro, where I go more in-depth about things like the trackpad and the SteelSeries keyboard, which you can see also on this laptop, then click here and you guys will be taken there now. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more quick reviews, then let us know and make sure that you subscribe. You can leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video, but please tell us why you disliked it. Come on, we, wait, we, we work hard on these things. Other than that, hope you have a very good day and we'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hello, I'm Dave from Dino PC, and this is the GT72 G Toby 805. <laughs> In here we've got an Intel i7 6820K. In here we've got an Intel i7 867023-42 balls. <laughs> And here we've got an Intel i7 6820K HK. And here we've got an Intel i7 6820. Oh, for God's sake.